Hello, Internet. Steve here again with another Unity Asset Store review. Uh, today we are going to be looking at another Aquarius Max asset. This is the in this is also in the Aquarius Fantasy series. It is the High Elves pack from that series. Uh, it retails for seventy dollars USD at the time of recording this. Uh, let's go over the ratings overviews real quick, and then we'll hop into the uh, to the the demo scene and then we will go to there's a kind of an asset manifest scene and then we'll go through a couple of the prefab hierarchies to point out things that i couldn't point out otherwise so uh quality it passes um i feel like aquarius max does a good job about uh, like always of balancing the um uh technical uh like the technical optimization end of their assets with fidelity especially given the rendering pipeline that it's using and the fact that they bake lots into a lot of their stuff too um so i think that that passes absolutely a modularity and workability um well i would have liked to have seen a little bit more in this regard i i do think it passes and it easily passes um i'm especially you know particular persnickety about some of that stuff but um uh yeah it it, it passes uh, support and serviceability, I've said it before, and I'll probably say it every time they do one of their, their assets, but um, they've been in the game a long time, and they've been doing this a while, so they they do they they do a good job of support and serviceability, and they they seem like they take that pretty seriously. And then overall value. Uh, at 70 bucks, I think it's worth it. You know, I think what you get out of this, even though it's not as modular as ideally I personally would like, um, I think that the value is absolutely there. So let's hop. Oh, I should also mention um, this asset, unlike the uh, this Aquarius Max asset, unlike the last two that I did, does have at least one dependency uh, sh uh, shader graph. From what I've seen on all of their assets that they have dependencies like that they explicitly state that on the asset page so you just have to install that dependency through the through the uh, package manager in unity and you're good to go so now having said that let's hop into the uh demo scene and uh so behind the the uh, building that was behind me here um this is one static mesh it's one model um it's not modularized out but it is it, it does have interior as you can see some of the other things that um some of the like bookshelves and stuff that are in the asset um there are a handful of these buildings that are one one mesh but are modular or sorry but are um but have interiors uh there's a decent amount of rocks of rock formations the rocks are decently modularized uh, these ramparts, um, I don't remember if these specific ones are this way, but they do, the the asset does have ramparts that are modularized out, so you can build those out. Um, you've got some decent, um, a decent amount of like pots and potted plants and stuff like that. Um, you have some pillars and there are going to be some broken pillars that we get into in a little bit. So this building as well is another one that is one just one mesh it's not modularized um i would have liked to have seen some of those things a little more modularized but it is what it is uh this building as well is also uh not modularized this is one static um but all the stuff inside of it all these bookshelves and stuff like that are all individual um for these bookshelves with like the curved top they did something similar to what I pointed out in one of the Cintiq Studios assets, the the Roman one specifically, where they just like for this they make it fatter, for this one they make it taller. They just scale out either horizontally or vertically, and it you know it looks like a different bookshelf. So um, there's a handful of these little um, uh, like potion jars. I'll point those out as we come across them. Um, there are a few different, like I said, options for bookshelves. So there is like this, this asset has a decent amount of clutter and, you know, I'm probably going to sound like a broken record, but you should all by this point know how much I love my, my, love my clutter. So this building there, there is a mix of, um, buildings with interiors and buildings without interiors. This one is one without um and we'll point out some of those when we go into the other scene and uh the um, 
the hierarchy. So, like I said, there's a decent amount of like rock formations that you can play around with in here. Uh, here's another one of those potion ones, uh, the potion bottles. So there's another potion bottle. So there's, there's a decent amount of those. Um, these ramparts or these uh, uh, side bridge pieces are all modularized. Um, so there's some of these like broken pillars and stuff like that. So there's, you know, various states of decay clutter. Um, obviously, oh, it's not going to show up there. So all of these buildings in here do not have interiors. They're single faced, which I would have, you know, you know, as a level designer, I want to see not that, but it is what it is. Um, so there are these kinds of pillars with the archways and stuff like that. There's these like lamp things. Um, but yeah, all of these buildings are all no interior, not modularized. They're just, again, single faced. So let's hop out into the quote unquote asset manifest scene. You'll see some of this stuff. Um, so some of these things are single meshes, some are not, but you can kind of see the amount of variance in buildings that have, you know, internals that actually have insides, um, uh, interiors, that's the word. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word for a second there. So, uh, as you can see these guys are all modularized, um, which is nice to see. Um, oh, Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was way too fast. A couple more buildings that have interiors that um, are also uh, single meshes. Um, there's these, you know, uh, 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 bridge pieces. So you can build, you know, those decent bridges and stuff like that. They have the tops on them. Um, there's different options to be able to mix and match. So I do like that particular level of modularity. Um, that is nice to see. These rocks over here also, as you can see, modularized. So that's nice to see. Uh, that sort of stuff is all modularized. Um, so, it's gonna be stupid. <laughs> Come on. So obviously you can see that some of these things are modularized, some are not. Um, yeah, so uh, let's hop into the prefabs and just take a quick breeze through the prefabs. So you've got your bridge pieces here and your bridge overhang or your bridge sort of overhangs here. Um, and you've got your bridge, your actual bridge pieces, your bridge sides, stuff like that. Um, your bridge, uh, uh, um, what the hell are these called? Uh, um, the things that hold the bridge up. That word is escaping me right now. I'm, I'm having some trouble with words today, apparently. Uh, but decent amount of modularized bridge pieces, as you can see. Uh, the castle walls are also modularized um, to a certain degree as well. Um, I would have liked to have seen, like, like I don't know, maybe maybe not this this sort of thing. I don't know that there's a need for this one, but whatever. It is what it is. Uh, so let's hop down to the city walls. There's a few different of these, which are also modularized. You've got your stairwells, your fortifications. So you have a decent number of, uh, options here. I'll point out this one, because there's stairwell in here. So you've got some, some decent options to build some, some actual, like, like city walls or fortified walls with that. Um, Got some ornamental options. So these would be more for like, as you get into the, so there's like the exterior fortification in, you know, medieval cities, but then there's the interior, like the armies aren't gonna get into that area ideally. <laughs> um, so that's what these are. You've got a decent amount of those. Like I said, you've got some of the, um, some of the uh, destroyed clutter or the destroyed pillars and stuff like that. So a little bit of that kind of clutter. And then you've got um, just, standard exterior uh, walls and stuff like that. So then we've also got, uh, oh, hold on. That's where I just was. Here we go, the towers. So then we've got the towers. Um, so you can see there's like varying levels of modularity with this. Um, I also, 
uh, I don't think, yeah, I would have liked to have seen um, like at least some interior solution here um, versus just single faced, just me personally, it's a personal thing. I would have liked to have seen that. Um, it is what it is. Uh, so this is when we get into the, some of the clutter stuff and all that, uh, and, you know, interior, like house interior, stuff like that, um, uh, sort of city interiors as well. Um, so oh, let's do this, see if we can, so here's where you've got some of those, you know, ugh, God some of those like lamps and stuff like that, um, which do have uh, a lighting effect on them. Uh, there's a few options for that, as you can see, uh, we've got these. So this, this is the one that you saw out by that rock formation I pointed out in the demo scene. Um, so a couple of things there, and then you've got those potion bottles. So, um, so oh, and the, the pots, so. Decent amount of that. Um, it's not a clutter pack, obviously, but like, yeah. Then you've got your furniture clutter, uh, which again, you can make these unique by expanding them and contracting them and doing stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> so here's where you've got those actual single piece houses. Um, uh, the single piece elven houses. Um, and then we're going in here. We've got a few more of them. Uh, these ones, I think, are the single faced. No, these are the interiors. So, the last one. These ones are also interiors. So, one of these is an actual, is one that does not have, um, does not have, uh, um, does not have, uh, what's it called? Um, um, does not have, uh, interiors. Uh, but here, here's, here's a good example of why I would have liked to have had just the pieces because, so you've got a second level here, but it doesn't go anywhere. You can't really do much with it. Right. So it's just kind of dead space as a level designer that you can't do anything with because you can't even without going in and modifying the um the mesh itself you can't even get in there because that that uh, floor piece is there so stuff like that i would have liked to have seen thought through a little bit better um but at a certain point some of that gets into uh gets into a little bit of a nitpicky area and i'm not gonna uh, i'm not gonna lose sleep over it um because I do, at the end of the day, think that the asset is still worth it, despite despite some of those sorts of things. Um, then we've got one more here in this set. And then let's check out set three real quick. So are these are the ones with... Yeah, so these are the single-faced ones with no, with no um, interiors. So... Decent amount of these, but again, like these would have been cool to have interiors because they're multi leveled, you know, buildings that you would ideally be able to use in your game for, you know, cool stuff. And, and they're, they're just exteriors. So, um, and then we've got all the, you know, shrubbery and nature stuff. I'm not going to really dive too deep into this. Um, I'll just go through the overview here, but uh, there's a decent amount of this. I mean, it's not the most pretty option, but um, but yeah, that's the uh, High Elves pack. So uh, again, I do think that this asset is worth it. Um, I, I think you get enough from it, and especially when you pair it with uh, Aquarius Max's other assets. Um, you you can do some cool stuff with it. Um, I, I just would have liked to have seen personally more modularity. Um, I, I uh, but I I do think that there's enough there to give it a pass on on that modularity one and on the value one. So, anyways, that's that for this one. If you uh, have this asset, uh, you know, and you 
have a different opinion or whatever, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, otherwise, I will see everybody in the next one.